what makes a good place to live in? A good place is one where its citizens can get accessible, reliable services conveniently, efficiently, and safely. In this video, we will be discussing how Singaporean transport system has made Singapore a good place to live in. Now, let's bring you through a day in the life of a Singaporean taking public transport. Hi, oh my god, long time no see. It's defiant since we last met. Oh yes, I'm so excited. The transport system in Singapore has changed vastly ever since I last visited. Today I'll be showing you around Singapore using the various modes of transport such as the bike sharing services like OFO and Mobike as well as the ride sharing services like Grab. Sounds interesting, let's go! Wow, where are we now? We are outside my school now. You can find bike parking zones and racks like that all over Singapore which is super convenient to park the sharing bikes. Would you like to cycle or take a bus today? I think it's pretty hot today, let's take a bus. Oh look, there's an electronic board that actually tells you all the arrival tariffs of all the buses. However, this electronic board is not available at all bus stops, so I prefer to use apps such as Public Transport SG. <laughs> Speaking of the weather, more shelter walkways have been added this year. With MRT stations and bus stops being at most 10 minutes walk away from most homes, so, people now do not have to walk under the hot sun. Also, there are designated lanes that give priority to buses during peak hours, so you won't be stuck in traffic jams anymore. Wow, with all this being implemented, how could there be any negative aspects of the buses? Oh, don't get this after. Bad frequencies such as three bus services of the same kind stopping at the same bus stop is so bad, and as well as those bus stops that are not accessible to wheelchair bound. Can you imagine those wheelchair causing so much inconvenience to them? These are some of the bad examples of the inconvenience caused by bus stops. Oh no, I can't imagine if I'm wheelchair bound. It would be so inconvenient. Oh wait, our bus is here. In wheelchair accessible buses, there will be designated wheelchair areas for people with disabilities to travel comfortably on the bus. A special bell push button is located at the waist level to enable the disabled to ask for assistance easily when alighting. When alighting, the helpful bus drivers will assist by deploying the ramp for them to alight easily. In addition, seats are reserved for the elderly, the pregnant women, so that their rides will be more comfortable and safe. Singapore has a dense network of MRT and bus systems with bus and MRT interchanges linking the two transports together. Are there like 5 MRT lines and 3 MRT lines? Yes, that's right. Recently, the downtown line 3 has been extended to provide more convenience for commuters to reach their destination in the fastest possible time. In addition, more MRT stations are linked to shopping malls as well. Cool, I bet I can visit 10 shopping malls in one day with such convenience in Singapore. You bet. Do you want to go to Bichan to try some famous xiaolong pao? Oh, yes, but I want to try my favorite xiaolong pao. Oh my, what happened? Dear passengers, we are sorry for the delay. Unfortunately, the train has some technical issues. We seek your kind assistance to alight the train and seek alternative routes to your destination. The train must have broken down again. Did you just say again? Did this happen before? Yes, breakdowns of such are so often. Commuters even reported on the downtown line that their first year opening, there was a delay. It's so ridiculous, it's shocking. Oh my, I have gotten so many complaints. Ah, but don't worry so much. The government has been doing a lot to solve such problems. Signaling faults have been fixed with such re uh, renewal works and to make co um, commuters have a more reliable. Oh wait, I have to meet my professor at 3pm. It's 2.40 already. Oh, don't panic, don't panic. I have an idea. Look at this grab app. See, oh, a driver just accepted our booking and it arrived in 3 minutes. Wow, that's incredibly fast. But won't it cost a lot? I heard taxis in Singapore are super expensive. Actually, it's cheaper than normal taxis because the prices are fixed. I like those scary taxi meters. And, and the pairs of the grab are adjusted according to the different types of car with different sizes. I'm gonna try using this from now on. This app will really help me to plan my journey better and uh, escape the peak hour crowds. Right, we have arrived in time. Thank you for bringing me around Singapore today. I learned so much about the Singapore transport system. They are most welcome. 